Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. Uh, we're midway through the, uh, the reorganisation and the, uh, the, the futuristic improvement, well, maybe that's overblowing it a little, of, uh, of Tewkesbury, our original station. Uh, the, the, the start, the birthplace of it all, we're, uh, uh, we're working on, uh, on bringing that up to speed to take us through to, uh, well, wherever we decide to uh, end up. I'm monitoring a few things at the moment. So the, the Tewkesbury Steel Mill, which we put back online in the last couple of episodes, uh, is now only six months away from its first upgrade. Good. Um, we're monitoring all the trains that are related to that, which is 16, 17 and 18. Uh, 18 is our goods train, which has yet to leave the platform. It has picked up a grand total of 33 goods so far. Now, obviously, if this uh, steel mill is producing 25 goods a year, that means it's going to have to wait four years before it's got a full load. Hilarious. Um, I'll live with that. That's fine. Uh, I think the, the, the fact that there's constantly a train waiting there uh, is uh, is helping with the, the demand on that side of things. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We're also monitoring our iron ore train, which has gone, which has increased every load. Now, it's actually pretty swift. Uh, let's, uh, let's follow this bad boy as it comes in. Uh, it's actually pretty swift in terms of its turnaround um, because the, the line isn't very long uh, between its uh, its home station and uh, and this one. So uh, so yeah, so that's that's been gradually increasing. The coal train takes probably about twice as long, maybe time and a half the the length it takes the uh, the, the iron train to reach its destination. And uh, as you'll see, because it's about to come in for a pickup now, let's go and watch it do that. Uh, there we go. So that's got eight. So it's picking up slightly more. Picked up nine on the last the last run that it did. But it's it's generally you know it's almost there. And by almost there, I mean it's almost to the point. So I mean you know we've got a we've got an upgrade scheduled on that one. Uh, Transfer stands coming in, and we've got an upgrade scheduled there as well. So. Once they upgrade, then those trains will start carrying more stuff, uh, which should mean that the goods train fills up a little bit quicker. Still, some of the goods are going out by road, but not many, actually. Um, so, we'll see how that transpires. Shall I carry on following them? No, they're just going to get in the way. The other train that I'm following at the moment is uh, Train 9, which is running from Slough to Woking. The reason I'm following it is this has actually been running for a while, and it's only carrying two passengers uh, and that's that's a bit of a worry uh, our finances have been pretty pretty stable in the uh, hundred and teens um, where are we slow walk commuter it's got a 10 minute end to end at the moment uh, yes interesting maybe I, I don't think I've got anything else that goes to uh, to slough and to woking so here we go now wants to go to Wadhurst ah now Wadhurst and Woking are very much connected. Interesting. Semi-interesting. Yeah, it's not currently running very profitably, but that's part of the the objective in this this kind of overhaul of each town, is that we uh, we make each line uh, profitable and uh, and running as much as we need to. So today, what are we doing? Road services in Tewkesbury. Uh, now it's been a while since Tewkesbury had any kind of a road service upgrade, and as you can see, the the entire town is is quite a lot bigger now. So, first things first, you're running the Tuke Circle. Let's, uh, you're the only thing running the Tuke Circle. And you're not actually picking very many passengers up, are you? So I think it might be time to say goodbye, Tuke Circle. Uh, let's send you to the depot. Because we want to go trams, I think, uh, rather than, uh, Rather than bus, we, we want to we want to stick some trams on the go. So I'm going to sell this bus off, kill the circle, and uh, and build some tram track and get trams running in both directions. There we go. Right, smashing you. Uh, get out of my life. Thank you. Right. Let's have a look. So we've got Grand Central here, obviously enough. Let's, uh, let's tram track. It's tempting just to do the entire town. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you know, some, some kind of connection there. That'd be good. 
Right, uh, and we want to hit both sides of the uh, of the stage. What's going on? You, you didn't make the clang noise of having complied with my demand. Uh, on the proviso that it doesn't actually cost any money to uh, to run tram track, I might uh, not. I'm mean, placing it. Placing it costs money, but uh, if it costs no money to to actually keep it up and running, that's my hope. Uh, then uh, I'll just I'll, I'll just put options. I'll have I'll have options everywhere. Yeah, you're not thinking this through in the slightest. Stop doing that. Just, just stop it. You're an embarrassment to yourself. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got Grand Central, which is obviously one of the stops that we have to make because that's the the money maker. Now, do we need to? No, we shouldn't do. Okay, fine. I was just wondering if I needed to uh, to track all the way up to the station there, but as it turns out, we don't. Right. So we got one there. Uh, let's stop down here on the corner, and we'll do both sides. And I think in doing that, that was a very foolish thing to do, because it, it, that that gets rid of our. Come on, turn your brain on. Let's uh, let's do this properly. And then also, while we're about it, let's. Uh... Yeah, you've got to find them first. Oh, interesting. They don't like showing up while you've got the bulldozer up. They hide from you. They go, don't delete me. And they go, no, I'm, I'm deleting you, mate. That, that's the that's thing that's happening. There's one. Next. Yeah, this is going to do curious things for, for demand at the moment, isn't it? Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have that rectified. Where else are we missing? We're missing one there. So we're going to, I mean, when this is uh, all up and running, I, I think you know where I'm going to go with this. We're going to run trams in, in both directions. Uh, and, uh, and that's uh, probably two to three trams in both directions. And with a bit of luck, that will, uh, that will do glorious things for, uh, for you know, not only uh, passenger demand inside town, but also uh, the the demand for uh, for rail services as well. That's the hope. That's the hope. Okay, let's think. Where do we want to go? Okay, so we start at the station. Let's let's run this in a strange route, and then we'll come down here. So we'll stop there. Now. You know, one thing I've never looked into is what the, the, the kind of the ideal distances are. Uh, tram it. Uh, you know, how, how far is a passenger prepared to walk? Okay, so we're going to go through the tunnel and then we'll come out of the tunnel. Where's the most active area up here? Hmm. Yeah, let's go around the outside. I, I suspect this is going to be an area of growth at some point. And then this all looks kind of industrial-ish. So I think down here, just past it, but obviously within walking distance. I'm going to need to track that. Yep, okay. And then I wanna go out and around the top because that's kind of a nifty route. What, what? You can't put tram track on it because of a tunnel? That's mad. All right, okay, we can rebuild this bit of track though. Interesting. That was not something I'd envisaged at all. Envisaged? Envisioned? That was not something I'd considered. There we go. Played safe. Right, 
Let's bash that along there. And then, you never know, we might get some housing built up along this cliff top. That'd be hilarious. No, not hilarious. That would be scenic. Yes, there we go. Right, all right. Okay, that should... That should be a little more tolerant, shouldn't it? There we go. Okay, right, smashing. So, where did I put my last stop? The last stop was here. So, we now want to come up this one. So, we'll stick another another stationette here. All right, up and around the top. And what do you think? Carve it straight down the middle here? We'll go down this one. Do we want to go around the outside? No, but we do want to sort of go around the outside. So, we're going to go around here and then around here. And down. And then around the edge, we'll cut through the middle of here. Now, I, I, I clocked a, a big leisure area. It's over there, leisure, le big leisure area over there. And I want to go past that. So if we were to, yeah, let's carry on straight there. station so we'll come around the end past this majestic tower block which obviously looks like offices of some description so that's a workplace so we'll, we'll station up there as well all right cool let's get these uh, get these stops in place let's put a can we put a stop right on this cliff top because that'd be fun Marvellous, right, okay, and then it comes around the corner and it comes to here. Let's uh, stop there. Then we're out in this bit here. Let's, this, this all looks like it's up and coming. Terrific, once more on this run. Was it around here? Let's stop right by the football pitches. That's what people like. Uh, and then once more by this mega office building. Right, smashing. We now need a tram depot. Have I built an outer edge piece somewhere? Yeah, I must have done. You know what? I can just, uh, I'll just track it out here. There we go. And we'll put a depot in before anybody gets any wise ideas about stopping me from doing so. Right, okay, cool. So now let's, uh, let's root this up. Uh, new line, please. You get out of my way, you enormous dialogue of no fun. Uh, right. First stop, obviously, this one. And down here, down to Victoria Street. And then out here. And then I want you to go to the Grove. And then I want you to go to Alexander Road. And then I want you to go down Church Street. Whatever. There's that arbitrary road names. But actually, the road names are very good because uh, I imagine what they've done is they've gone to Wikipedia and gone, uh, give me the uh, the 50 most commonly used road names in Britain. Why would you go that way? Why wouldn't you go straight down here? That has to be the most ludicrous route I've ever seen. Let's put that in and let's make another tram stop there. How very strange. Add a station, that one. There you go. Right. What? Eh? What? And then you go to Tewkesbury Central. Right. Which is, which is here. Remove. Maybe we need to ungroup it. <laughs> see, see, you have to get up in the uh, early in the morning for me to figure out what the issue is. Uh, where are we? Here we go. No, 
that's not green lane at all. That's, uh, and then, hold on, kill that off. This. Group with that. There we go, and then that's. Chicksbury Grand Central. There we go. No passengers waiting. Yeah, I just killed all the passengers. Right, okay, so that's... I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. That's that's doing what I want. All right, and that's, that's running anti-clockwise. Okay, cool. So this is... Uh, Tewkesbury... Uh, anti-commuter. Okay, cool. Right, let's uh, let's tram it one time. Uh, right, okay, the Mirage takes 15, uh, the Cobra takes 24, we're obviously going to go with the Cobra. Set line onto the Tewkesbury anti-commuter, off you trot. Right, we'll give that a minute or two to uh, get itself established, and then I shall build the, uh, the, the clockwise version. Right, we start here, and then around the corner, then we came around here, Park Avenue, up to that one, up to... This is pretty good. You say, I, when when setting up these routes, these the lines, I always uh, think that I'm going to get horrifically lost and take everything the wrong way, but as it turns out, it's actually pretty self-explanatory. There we go. I've missed one. I must have done. Wasn't the other one showing 13? Have I missed one? Interesting. Maybe I haven't. Okay, fine. Well, yep. Alright, and this is uh, Tewkesbury Commuter. Chukes by, no, Chukes Berry Commuter. There we go. Right. And then let's uh, let's find ourselves a new friend here. There we go. Buy that. Set line onto the Chukesbury commuter. Off you go. Smashing. Right then, okay, those have been running for a couple of minutes. I, I actually skipped a couple of minutes there to, to let those bed in, uh, to save you just waiting around uh, endlessly. Uh, and we'll now uh, we'll now set these to, to uh, an appropriate line. So let's put you on the ante. I didn't just put them both on the ante, did I? I bet I did. Line, let's uh, put you on the commuter. There we go. Right, okay, so we've now got, uh, let's just pull up the lines thing to make sure I didn't make a complete mess of that. Right, so we've got two trams running in each direction, which is, you know, it's given the, the capacity of the bus that was running there before, we've, you know, we've more than quadrupled the, uh, the, uh, the passenger services that we're running on the road. And, you know, we're hitting up places of work, we're hitting up residences, uh, we're hitting a, a good leisure area. So I would hope that, uh, you know, within, let's say, 18 months of, of game time, that they actually start to, to pan out, that they actually start to uh, to make the kind of money that we, uh, that we want them to be making. And to be honest, it's more about uh, them, them getting passengers to the station than it is anything else. Uh, and one thing I could have done is kind of, you know, just followed these happy-go-lucky people to see uh, whereabouts they've uh, they've walked from, you know, because if I'm if I'm uh, not providing a, a train service, a, a tram service, a, a, a kind of commuter service, uh, then obviously uh, they will they will go on foot. So we are. everybody there currently is waiting for the Tuesday commuter, except of course you're not because the, I'm not looking at the full station. I was looking at. There we go, here we go. So, at Grand Central, that's kind of cool. Um, 
All right, so everybody's waiting for the anti-commuter. No one's waiting for the commuter. That's interesting. I wonder if that's because this first stop here is close enough to the station that people just kind of go like, no, stuff waiting for the tram. I'll just, I'll just walk it. Um, interesting. It would be, it would be more interesting to see if let's let's stick it on uh, on full whack there for a minute and and see what sort of what sort of numbers we uh, we end up with. Now, is the frequency of tram enough for this to to pay off? It doesn't look like it. There we go. That was a train just tipped out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's more like it. The, the, we've got. Uh, you know, effectively full loads waiting for two trams there. All right, that's good. That's fine. There we go. We've got one picking up now. Doing a bit of ugly cornering there, but I guess needs must in animation terms. Good stuff. Okay, cool. Right, so I think... Yeah, do I... Yeah, I, th I think I probably do. I... Uh, the the one thing that that I might also do uh, once we've once we're, we're further along on this kind of rejuvenation mode that we're in at the moment is uh, I'll uh, I, I might run a bus service in between towns. Why? Uh, just to try and ease the the cars up a little. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's finish off today by uh, by looking at how we're doing on the. Uh, Uh, on this, on this ill-fated goods route, right? You got six iron on board. That's not brilliant, is it? No, don't get me wrong; it keeps it coming. And what have we got going on with the train? It's 68 on there so far. That's that's not bad. Um, don't get me wrong; that means it's been waiting for a couple of years. But uh, hey, you know, it's uh, it's ticking along now. What's our capacity here? So we've up the we've up the capacity. No upgrade currently scheduled, but that should mean that this iron train actually starts uh, starts delivering a little more. Six waiting this time. Where's the coal train? There we go. I believe this coal system's upgraded as well. Yep. Uh, what are you carrying? You're carrying thirteen. So obviously, the uh, you know those goods trains, their capacity is significantly higher than is currently being put out by the the, the supply areas. Um, why did you just take something off the train? Did it go off? Did the steel go rotten? Mm, intriguing and perplexing. Right? Do we have another upgrade planned? No. So I think in order for an upgrade to happen, my suspicion is, and someone will correct me in the comments, I'm sure, that you need to hit the limit in order for uh, for the production to be shed uh, the, the upgrade to be scheduled for the following year. Uh, that's my guess. Um, so I should be close to that. And obviously, there's a there's kind of a, a synergistic relationship between uh, your mining and your your production. Because the more goods you deliver from the mines, the more production you do, and therefore, the, the, you know, the, the faster you get your mines to actually upgrade, the um, the faster you'll you'll get to the the the, the upgrade points everywhere along the supply chain. That was kind of a cumbersome way of saying it, but I think you know what I mean. That's a real shame that that tunnel didn't work. Never mind. Oh, as it turns out, that would have interfered with. Uh, with this happy-go-lucky uh, Chukespect commuter route. Right, okay, thank you. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Um, I, I think we'll say that's Chukesbury. Say hello to Chukesbury. Say goodbye to Chukesbury. We're not going to talk about it for a while. That's a total lie. Uh, we'll, we'll be back talking about how this steel mill still isn't paying for itself, despite, you know, many, many millions of investment. So next time around, what are we going to look at? We're going to look at... The second oldest thing in the game, Haverhill, uh, which is uh, which is currently running a uh, a truck based uh, goods system that seems to be kind of working. Um, obviously, same system again. Is we're going to look at making sure that the track comes in nicely. We're going to sort out the ground a little bit, um, and uh, I think we'll build a, a level crossing here, and. 
uh, and then start to review how we so look this this is begging for it here we can we can do some multi-tracking here that'll be fun do I you know create a complete do I create complete havoc and build a, a four track station here I doubt it um, but we're going to start to look at so here's the the kind of the long term uh, is we look at the services that are running out of each of these places as well so uh, you know Tewkesbury to Haverhill was, was kind of a traditional uh, but we run a Tukes Bex which goes all the way up to Bex Hill so once I've completed all the way up to Bex Hill which will be third on the route then we'll uh, we'll review exactly what we're going to do now maybe you know much like we've got a northern circle maybe we decide to build a southern circle um, I think Tewkesbury's going to be a pain in the backside for that but you know maybe that's what we do Thanks very much for tuning in. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll uh, catch up with you next time. Thanks very much. Cheerio.